When you look up the requirements for using AirLink with the Quest 2, officially, Oculus recommends connecting your PC to your router using an Ethernet cable. But of course, there are people out there whose PC is far enough away from their router that this may be a difficult requirement to fulfill, and they're wondering whether or not they can just connect their PC, or their laptop for that matter, to their home Wi-Fi and play PC VR games on their Quest 2 fully wirelessly. Well, for those of you in this situation, I decided to give it a try and see what happens. I first wanted to find out if using a network cable was some kind of hard requirement. Meaning, does Oculus have some way of detecting in their software whether your PC is connected to your network with a network cable or not? So, I fired up my laptop and tried launching AirLink on the Quest 2 and connecting to my laptop, and it worked! I didn't load up a game or anything, but just loaded into the Oculus PC interface because my laptop only has a GTX 1050 Ti in it. Going into this, I was expecting things to be stuttering and stuff a fair amount because the 1050 Ti isn't exactly a GPU I think anyone would recommend for VR, and also due to the fact that my laptop was wirelessly connecting to my home network. Surprisingly though, it wasn't bad. It wasn't fantastic, but it wasn't bad. This little experiment suggested to me that it is possible to ditch the network cable and still use AirLink, but now I needed to try it with my much more VR capable gaming PC. So I jumped on Amazon and ordered this Asus wireless network adapter. I recently upgraded our router to one with Wi-Fi 6. So in order to get the best results, I made sure the Wi-Fi adapter I used for this experiment was also Wi-Fi 6. <laughs> I figure since Wi-Fi 6 is the fastest home Wi-Fi standard currently available, if this setup doesn't give us acceptable performance with AirLink, then nothing else will either. Once I'd received my new Wi-Fi adapter and got it installed in my PC, it was time to fire up AirLink and see just what it was like. I first loaded into the Oculus PC interface and everything looked good. At this point, I couldn't really tell much of a difference between my PC being connected with Wi-Fi versus being connected with an Ethernet cable, so, so far so good. I then started up Steam VR and loaded up a game of Half-Life Alex. You can't see it in the video capture here, but this is where things took a turn for the worse. Gameplay was a little bit choppy, I mean, it wasn't terrible, but there was like some micro stuttering or something going on which wasn't exactly great. Uh, and the graphics looked muddy and blurry. Uh, let me explain something real quick. Since upgrading our router to Wi-Fi 6, the streaming bitrate for AirLink has been much better than when I was using Wi-Fi 5. When using Wi-Fi 5, gameplay was always fine, but the graphics would often look blurry and the textures really muddy. But after upgrading our router to one with Wi-Fi 6, this problem was pretty much eliminated thanks to the faster speed of Wi-Fi 6. Graphics consistently look much, much sharper and clearer with Wi-Fi 6. Uh, almost as good as using a link cable. Connecting my PC to my network wirelessly using the Wi-Fi 6 adapter, though, took things back to how they looked when I was using Wi-Fi 5. At times, things looked great, and at other times, they did not. Uh, just real quick, for those that don't know, Wi-Fi 5 is also called Wireless AC, and Wi-Fi 6 is Wireless AX. Overall, the game was playable-ish, but it wasn't exactly what I would call an ideal experience. I tried capturing gameplay directly to the Quest 2 to see if I could capture this, but as you can tell, it didn't really work. Uh, what you're seeing now is my best attempt to simulate what it looks like by lowering the Quest 2's capture bitrate. I want to make it clear that this is not exactly what I saw in the headset. This is just my best attempt to reproduce what I saw to give you an idea of what I mean when I say the graphics look blurry or a bit muddy. As for the slight choppiness I experienced, sadly, that didn't capture, and there's not really an easy way I know of to replicate it with my video editing software or otherwise. So, sorry about that. As soon as I switched back to using an Ethernet cable to connect my PC to our router, 
everything improved dramatically, looking pretty much like what you're seeing now. Uh, assuming you're watching this in HD, of course. Uh, if you're watching it in 480p or something, then yeah, it's still going to look like garbage. So to sum things up, yes, you can use AirLink without connecting your PC to your router with an Ethernet cable. I say this, however, with a big ol' asterisk next to it, though. In this video, I was using a Wi-Fi 6 router and a Wi-Fi 6 wireless adapter in my PC. So this is pretty much a best case scenario. If your router is Wi-Fi 5 and the wireless adapter in your laptop or PC is also Wi-Fi 5, then I think it's safe to say that performance is going to be worse than what I experienced in my little experiment here. In the end, I'm in full agreement with Oculus. For the best experience possible when using AirLink, you want to connect your PC to your wireless AC, or in my opinion, preferably wireless AX router, using an Ethernet cable.